Now, it seems that South Africans could be working for much longer in the future. The government has, for the first time, hinted that the retirement age could be raised from the current 60 years for women and 63 years for men. A number of countries, especially in the Eurozone, have already raised their retirement age to beyond 70. People are living longer. It's a global trend, but it's causing major challenges for government. A lot of the increasing retirement ages around the world are you know, to combat people that are living longer and longer, but ultimately a lot of those state-funded pension schemes across the world are actually in trouble. And the one way they can sort themselves out is by increasing the retirement age because it actually reduces their liability. South Africa too has hinted that it wants to extend the retirement age. As people live longer, it means that the, the state will have a burden of providing benefits for longer periods. This definitely then has an impact on policy choices that the state has to make in the sense that uh, if it does not adapt its, uh, its, its policies to the fact that people are living longer, then it might mean that the state will have to provide benefits for longer and that has an impact on the fiscus. South Africa has a younger population. Life expectancy has also improved to around 80 years and longer, which means that people can work for longer. For a country like South Africa, it will be a good thing because uh, subsequent to the improvement on the lifespan of people going to longevity, so people will work more, which gives them an opportunity to also invest in their retirement funds. So when they retire, at least they will have ample amount of time to plan for their retirement. In three years' time, the means test for old age pensions is also said to be abolished. This means everyone above the age of 60, regardless of their income status, will qualify for an old age grant. A large number of South Africans are already reliant on state grants. There's a belief that early retirement opens up a gap for new entrants in the job market, but Mike Prince-Lew says research has shown the opposite. 